everyone, I'm John Timmerman, and I break down the world's most exciting businesses and brands so that you and I can learn how to build ours faster. And today, I'm talking about one of my favorite uh, examples of guerrilla marketing ever, ever. In my 10 plus years of marketing, this is the coolest example of guerrilla marketing that I've ever seen. And that is from Echo Unlimited, and more specifically, the founder, Mark Echo. So Echo is uh, Echo Unlimited was, I should say, I don't know if they're still around or not. Um, they probably got bought up by private equity, but they were like one of the top clothing companies in the early 2000s. They were the cool like clothing. They had the polar bear logo on it. Um, awesome company. So uh, in 2006, I think April 2006, there was this video that was leaked to the media. And it uh, just had the, the headline, Mark Echo tags Air Force One. Now, Air Force One, the the airplane that the president flies around the world in. Um, and it was this video. It was like this down and dirty video, like a little handheld camera, uh, camcorder, for those of you that are millennials or over, born before the age of, uh, the, the year of 1985, maybe? I don't know. So there was this camcorder video, and it was this guy, like this person, don't even know if it's a guy or a girl or whoever, but this person like running with the camera. <sighs> And you just hear them like hustle, you know, breathing heavy. And then, and then you see this giant white airplane and this fence, right? And this person goes up and they hop the fence and they run over. And all of a sudden you see this person run up to the Air Force One and psh, start spray, spray painting the words, stay free. They finish it just real quick, right? Just black spray paint. They finish it and then turn around and go and, oh, shit, shit, shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, and... It looks totally real. It looks like there's Air Force One. It says the United States of America on the side of it. And this video made it to the media. And the media was like, is this thing real? Like, what is going on? They reached out to Mark Echo and Echo Unlimited for a comment. And they didn't, he didn't answer and no comment. And then, uh, and then all these media outlets were like, wait, should we run it? Like, is it real? You have it and I have it. Who's going to run it first? And so somebody runs it. They're like, we're going to be the first one to run it. And then the other ones run it. And then, <laughs> and then they all run this video and, and the reporters get on and they're like, founder Mark Echo tags, appears to tag Air Force One, spray paint Air Force One. And they show the video, right? So here's all this widespread media attention on Echo and Echo Unlimited. Here's all this widespread attention on their tagline, stay free. And here's all this widespread attention on exactly what Echo Unlimited is all about, which is challenging the establishment. You couldn't get more challenging the establishment than uh, going and tagging Air Force One. Am I right? So a few days later, like a week later, uh, they finally get a hold of Mark Echo and Echo Unlimited, and he admits that it was a hoax, right? It's a hoax. But by then, all the virality of that campaign had already caught wind. Now, here's why I love this so much. Now, obviously, it's widespread attention, um, you know, sort of genius kind of pitting the media companies against each other and, and getting that widespread exposure, right? Um, and, and this was pre social media. This, this was before social media was really widespread in a, in a thing, you know, it was still Facebook was still like in development basically. Um, or it was, it was not, an, it was in colleges still, it was only a college to college platform, but this was pre social media. So this, this is a viral campaign done the old school way. But the reason why I love this so much is because here's Echo Unlimited, one of the fastest growing, big, biggest clothing companies, you know, in, in the United States. They could have spent a million dollars on ad campaigns and huge Times Square billboards and, uh, and commercials and things like that. But instead, they went gorilla. They went something, they went a direction that most brands, really no brands at that time were going, and they created content. They, they created content that evoked curiosity. You know, here is this sort of thing shrouded in secrecy. Uh, and, and, and there was the perfect mix of that, that, uh, that secrecy with a powerful brand. Like, could this really be a thing? Like, totally sort of putting people's brains and flipping it on its head and getting them to think, like, is this for real? 
If you can get that sort of effect from your marketing campaigns, getting somebody to say, is this real? That's a super powerful thing. That's incredibly powerful to get somebody who is your potential customer or partner or anybody really who may engage with your company or your brand to say, is this real? Getting them to say that is extremely powerful. So I don't know what business you're in, but if you are in a consumer facing business, think of ways that you can get them to get in that mind space. Now you go too far, might be risky, but you, and you, and you get too vanilla and it might not actually work, but think of ways that you can get people to say, is this real? Because they will pay attention until they figure out if it's real or not. And if you can even one up that, if you can get them to pay attention until they figure out if it's real. And then when they figure out if it is real or not, if they can land on a place where they're like, shit, I need to buy this thing. Game over. You've got them. You've got them. So that's it. That's my favorite guerrilla marketing campaign of all time. Check the video out. It's awesome. And then get to work figuring out how you can get your customers and, and, and audience to say, is this real? Good luck. And if you're having trouble getting ROI from your marketing campaigns, you'd rather just somebody else do it for you. My agency, Good Monster, would be happy to work with you or at least look into working with you. So just Google Good Monster Agency and contact us and our team will help you out. 